When it comes to luggage, whether it's a check-in or carry-on, you can either get it in a hard shell or soft shell. And with Level 8, they've really expanded and fleshed out the hard shell range, whether it's a polycarbonate or an aluminium, the Voyager, the Luminos, the Hegens, the Gibraltar, all of that is well and good. But if you're actually considering a soft shell or even prefer a soft shell, well, you're out of luck until now. Just behind me is Level 8's first soft shell luggage, the Capture, and we're going to dive in and check it out today. Now there's many different reasons why you would choose a soft shell over a hard shell and also why you'd prefer a hard shell over a soft shell. And while generally I am more of a hard shell person, there's a lot of great features packed inside Level 8's flagship or top tier soft shell we're looking at today in the capture. Now you can find my written review at onetechtraveler.com and if you think the Level 8 capture is right for you or you want to explore the rest of their range, then you can support the channel by using the links down below. I'll put in the pinned comments and in the video description. This is the Level 8 capture. Let's get started. Diving into the capture carry-on, we've got two front-facing zippers. We've got one here and one here. You've got nice YKK zippers. They are pretty smooth and very robust. Also very big zip pulls. They all have Level 8 branded on them and they've got some kind of curve to it that does feel nice and natural in the hand to glide over. Level 8 logo in a metal glossy finish like these zippers. And we have the admin panel opens like an accordion. On the lid, we've got one full width divider. We've also got a tether and if your keys, we've also got two smaller open pouches here. The bottom tapers down, but you still do have quite a bit of space to work with. A laptop divider, and this is nicely lined with a sort of fleecy material, just to help with protective padding and another divider in front, same fleecy material. This is great for your tablet, few stationary slots, two for pen or stylus, and then a Velcroed fastener and included a TSA lock. So let's raise that one up. One side handle, got level eight debossed in this. Very nicely cushioned, well padded, sits great in the hands and just gives you great leverage. A cool feature you don't really see in carry-on luggages is this slide out identifier. That's actually really cool. Top handle, debossed again with a level eight, also heavy duty and tough. We get this drop pocket. It acts as a, a drop in for any small accessories, travel wallets. Towards the back, we've got three slim foot paddings on this side and one down the middle. I like how the top sort of rolls over and it's kind of a single piece that wraps rather than very hard rectangular boxy points. It's not wide like the Voyager or the hard shell, it's just the traditional telescopic handle. Glossy metal finish, quite a bit sturdy. This one feels nice and robust. Multiple levels before closing it all the way down. On the bottom, we've got the four 360 silent wheels or whisper quiet as Levely like to call it. A little hand grab. So if you are taking it like this, then you can find a natural way to grab onto. Just behind it is a single zipper. If we undo that all the way down the bottom and to the side, an extra six liter of packing capacity. And it's also just towards the bottom, just to help with the weight. An additional like catch-all for your small accessories. Pretty deep too, kind of here as well. So this one is like here, this one is here. The main compartment zipper are the only ones that have this loop when you line them up for a TSA padlock. So the one that is included is for this zipper. Pretty shallows where you probably can fit the final 10% of your gear. 
the zippers have a nice matte finish instead of the glossy heavy duty zippers they use on the outside. Still sips pretty smooth. Uh, the liner does give you a bit more height to work with. So it doesn't have to be super flat, but it does mean it could snag at the corners. Got the same beigey, creamy internal liner, level eight sort of pattern on here, which looks good. Mesh window to easily look inside here. Level eight debossed on this faux leather. We've got this hybrid compression strap with dual mesh pockets. Again, great visibility and window inside. Simple button that clips. Pull away here, loosen up and then pull down to fully strap it up. This is a nice way to pull your toiletries. You can detach it. Toothbrush, toothpaste, toiletries, perfume, cologne. You can store on here and take it out through security. And you just need to line up the zippers to put them back in. And on the left side, just have a zipper against the spine and some nice included items to hold itself. So the stuff I like in the capture carry-on, well, firstly, they include this TSA lock. You can bind together the zipper since there's no dedicated TSA lock system, but it's nice that they've thrown that in there. Love the organization. The admin panel is one of the best that I've seen. Even heavy tech loadouts. You can really pack this one out a lot and it's going to give you easy access and reach into it while you are traveling. Nicely organized for you to take it out of TSA security and slot it back in. Also love the amount of pockets in here. Sometimes it can get overwhelming with too many pockets in a soft shell luggage, whereas hard shells tend to not have any. They're very easy to find, nicely laid out. Having them across the sides as well is super neat. The consideration to how this expand is also a plus point. They don't have it like front expanding from the top and the bottom. That means it gets front heavy and it can tip over if you're really packing this tight. They give you just enough expandability without it tipping over. Unlike a hard shell, it's less prone to scratches and markings that you get in a polycarbonate, especially if they're thrown around or they rub against something, it's going to scratch the surface. But a soft shell, even if it rubs against something or scratches, most of the time this is not going to show or leave a mark unless it's really intense then it might fray the fabric but considering it's a 16A to D super durable very thick gauge it's not going to impact it structurally so the overall look aesthetics and condition of a soft shell you can also argue that it's going to maintain this new fresh look for longer. I can take my 14 inch laptop easily fits you can comfortably put a 16 inch inside Put my iPad mini six in this section. Put the stylus in that pen slot. My mouse can face on the lid. Two of my hard drives, one here, one here. Put my phone inside, my phone there. Quick look of the admin panel and I've still got plenty of space to pack the front. On that side pocket, it's actually pretty good and I can actually fit my Marshall speakers inside here. And then on the inside, some of my shoes, camera cube, and I can face it upwards or this side. It actually fits perfectly. I'm gonna put it like that. Adds a bit of bulk, but you can still pack it inside. And the great thing is because it's so deep, you can either use packing cubes or pack all of these in. Put my waterproof jacket, close that up. The laptop is all flushed to the bag, so it's not going to risk toppling over. If you pack a lot of the inside, then it will compress this front pocket. Got my laptop in here, my iPad mini six, you have to be careful with overpacking as you can create some little cinches on the zippers if it's too pressed. So if it is, just go back over it and bring the zippers together and then it will make sure there's no little kinks. This has all of the heavyweight charms to really pack. But that is the level eight capture. Now some of the things to consider or where I think level eight can improve. One is pretty heavy compared to some of the other ones. 
pushing at 3.8 kilograms and nearly four. There is a trade-off. You can get a lighter luggage, but structurally or durability, it might not hold up as much because the material, the fabric, or just the thickness isn't going to be as strong. So it's not necessarily a bad thing that it's heavy, but it's just something to bear in mind. If you do like to travel with a lot of items, then you might hit your carry-on allowance a lot quicker. Sometimes it can seem too accessible. Hard shells that don't have any pockets means you have to put everything inside, but it does make it super secure. There's no extra opening or areas that you can kind of get into it. So security-wise, it's pretty locked down. These accessory pockets, as I like to call it, don't give you any security. This front one, this front one, also this side one. There's no locking points and those would actually be really nice. There's a lot of zippers in here and zippers can get very noisy. The zip tracks also quite noisy. They're not as low sounding or dampened as I would like. And it does vary because they're kind of using different zippers throughout. So this one feels different than this one. All right, let's talk about price and overall value for money. So the capture cost 339 US dollars, which is more on the mid upper higher end of carry on luggages in general, but also in level eight hard shell, soft shell range. It sits right in between the Voyager, which is roughly 229, 239 US dollars, and in their all aluminium Gibraltar, which is 429 US dollars. So right in between those two, being Level 8's like newest release is also taking some inspiration and improvements from those existing Voyager, Gibraltar, the Luminos, the Hegent. So within that, I think it offers a lot of very usable functionality for the price. There's probably a bit of a premium being a soft shell luggage and the aluminium just being the most expensive, also the most heaviest, but the most durable too. So I'd probably say it feels about right when it's priced against those. But again, it's still quite a lot more expensive for a carry-on. If you are looking to find something a bit more affordable or on the budget side, then you can look at Level 8's Luminos Texture. That's roughly 169 US dollars. It's their most entry-level version and I think still represents amazing value for money. You also have the affordable soft shell in the Stride, which is 199 US dollars. But of course, that one is a bit more distilled, a bit more toned down. You don't get as many pockets, uh, but it might suit your style of travel and how you like to pack things. Those are my thoughts on the Level 8 Capture Luggage. You can read my review at onetechtraveler.com. And if you think the capture is right for you or you want to see the rest of Level 8's range, then you can support the channel by using the links down below. I'll put in the pinned comments and in the video description. Don't forget to use my exclusive discount code to help you save even more. So thanks a lot, Tim KBA. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace. Never got that far